This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Daniel writes in, my friend needs to go from fixed point to fixed point 3,000 feet with Wi-Fi. Any pointers? <laughs> um, I would say probably just make sure there's no large objects in between those two points, like a building or a forest or a giant hill or a mountain or something like that. That is actually the number one. 3,000 foot long mountain. Wi-Fi doesn't do through, okay, I, I can do Wi-Fi through my head. Uh, going through a concrete wall becomes problematic. Going through a forest is a nightmare. The biggest challenge with Wi-Fi is line of sight. Uh, you can deal with a little tree action, barely, but if you can see the building you want to connect to, I've connected over a mile with cheap Wi-Fi cards. Basically, you need a bridge from the network in the building here to the network in the building here and the right antenna. It's basically omni versus directional. So this is a classic omni, you know, these are two are both omnidirectional antennas, right? The, 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 the antenna built into a Wi-Fi card is omnidirectional. So this is, or the antenna built into your laptop. Mm -hmm. The idea is that it's radiating signal in all directions equally. Now the Omnis you buy to attach in the aftermarket, they sort of squash Omni down to sort of a big donut, since mm, we're kind of donuts, in a donut yes. mood today. So you, you might not get the 12th floor of a building as you're driving by, but you're gonna get like a half a block or two or three more blocks this way, right? And as you get, as the DB goes up, the attenuation goes up, you flatten out that donut and you get more distance. Directional, instead of flattening out the donut, you're basically turning your, your, your radio frequency into a laser beam. The idea, this is like a 14 dB antenna, so it concentrates all the energy in the direction this panel is facing. Um, so, we should also point out that along with that, you're gonna need the proper pigtails to attach, because for example, like this will attach to this, but it will not attach to this, which means you need a pigtail that looks something like da 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 oh. The one I just stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also going to need special cable. If you try to use uh, the coaxial cable, if you, you have a bunch of coax left over from your cable TV install, do not use it for Wi-Fi because basically uh, you need LMR 400, you need like microwave grade cable because if you do not have the right cable and the right connectors, um, all of the energy will be dissipated in the cable before it gets to your fancy antenna, which is why I suggest you go to somebody who spends a lot of time doing this like radiolabs.com. Um, they do a bunch of really cool kits, right? They do a bunch of stuff for RVs and sailboats, but if you go into their wireless section and you go to their Wi-Fi bridge kits, they've done the heavy lifting. One of the really cool ones, the Bullet Compact 802.11N wireless bridging system, bundles a couple of directional antennas together with a couple of basically, um, these are like wireless bridges that you plug into your ethernet and you plug into the antennas and you put them at either end of the space you're trying to connect and you are done. It is high speed, it is simple, it is easy. Uh, the heavy lifting has been done. They've got like a 900 megahertz non-line of sight wireless bridge system, lower frequency, does a better job penetrating walls and stuff. Um, there's a lot of ways to skin this particular cat. A lot of folks obsess over adding wattage, like I, I need a 500 milliwatt booster. And look, increasing your receiver sensitivity is the number one thing to do for long distance Wi-Fi, followed by getting your antenna right. Like using, you wanna go big distances, get a directional antenna. Both of those will do a lot more for your signal than adding power boosters or higher wattage cards. Interesting, so does that mean the FCC is gonna come after you if you are <laughs> outputting all this Wi-Fi into the world? Uh, so, okay. FCC basically says you are not allowed. You are not allowed to mix and match antennas and cards. These should be pre-assembled, pre-approved, so that they are underneath the FCC cap on the energy emitted by the card antenna okay. combination. Uh, it is always good to follow up with federal law because they're the Fed. They have bigger lawyers than you do, or at least they can put you in jail and you can't put them in jail. However, the reality is unless you do something really stupid like create, you know, a 10,000 watt Wi-Fi station in the middle of a large city where you piss off hundreds of thousand people instantaneously, they're probably not going to notice. All right. It's another reason to work with somebody like Radio Labs because they probably have been thinking about not getting crushed by the FCC for a long time now, unlike you who may be just thinking about it while you're trying to figure out how to game with your brother who lives a half mile away. Yeah, that's the thing. I want to know what they're using this for. Now I'm curious to, to see what they need that point to point 3,000 Email feet. us, Daniel, tell <laughs> us, techzilla at revision3.com. Or but don't it, if it's private. Yeah, well, but don't put it on facebook.com slash techzilla if it's tell private. Tell us, it's like a yeah. secret. <laughs> All right, we've got more of your questions still to come, but first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. 
.NET's one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and innovators will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable. .NET is only $8.99 a year. They're reliable and they're easy to use. The guys at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% off and big time savings. And don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. <laughs>